Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome back to Shenanigans. Three, two, and one. Today, I am going to try to skip through it um, for a couple reasons. Number one, I uh, have not had a lot of sleep. I just got done a four-day trip. If you are new to my channel, number one, welcome. Number two, a little introduction. My name is Shannon. I am a flight attendant. And um, anyway, I just got done a four-day trip. And it was a pretty easy trip for the most part, but I am just lagging. So on my first overnight, I think I got bit by a spider. I woke up and I had this just, it looked like there were two little fang marks um, right up here in my abdomen. And I'm like, okay, it's a little red, it's inflamed, kind of looked like a pimple without a head, not to be gross, but um, it has since in the last three days gotten to like the size of a golf bar but what golf ball but what really concerns me is the redness around it and it is extremely tender I you know I've been cleaning it with alcohol I kind of wanted to burst it and I'm like oh I can't do it because it's so painful um any type of band pants pantyhose even hurts so um my concern is, um, Jay's refing some soccer games today, my hubby, is that I have to go to the ER. Um, my doctor's close, Instacare called them and they said, okay, you know, if you get fever, which thankfully I don't have, especially being prone to sepsis with my kidney failure, but um, yeah, I might have to go to the hospital and I know they are going to have to drain it and cut it open and pack it probably. It might be out of work for a few days. I really do need a break. I haven't had a, feels like a minute to catch my breath. Um, anyway, with that being said, I am not feeling myself. I took the time to shower just in case I get admitted and try to look somewhat presentable to you. So with that being said, if I'm not myself, that's my excuse. I'm going to stick with it. I have a lot of new subscribers, tons of comments. I have been trying to respond to you guys. Um, if I just give you a heart or uh, a thumbs up, um, I will try to go back and comment on all my videos. Um, for those of you that have been with me for a little while, know that uh, I don't have as much time to play on my phone as most people. With that being said, um, I usually do Timu hauls on this platform. And uh, let's see if you can see that. And I have three boxes that are supposed to be delivered today. Obsessed, absolutely addicted. With that being said, I don't think going forward, I am going to pump out as many videos as I normally do, my apologies. I'm looking at doing a few things with this channel. i uh, maybe creating a whole different channel for our travel. We do travel quite a bit. Um, I will shift a lot, just forewarning you in the video because I have some neck and back problems. But I have been excited to get home. And I was like, oh, you know, I have to go back to work tomorrow unless I'm admitted. Um, or I might even just take some time off, you guys, to be honest. I'm kind of burn, burned out. It happens. But um, right before I left on this four-day trip, I did a collaboration with another hauler named Cindy Reviews for You check her out if you have not already and um we literally received our packages that we had a mystery box exchange we we set a price of 75 dollars for each other and um hopefully that's not a bad thing to put out there you could set your own prices but that's what we decided on and she received hers and i told her go ahead girl i know we wanted to do it together but do your unraveling do you boo um, she seemed pretty pleased with the products. A lot of it was household stuff, you know, for the kitties. And with that being forward, I did have to crack open some of these boxes. Again, these are my orders mixed with hers. And I was able to check off most of the items that I purchased. So I'm guessing that this one is from her. So obviously... If you are not familiar, Timu is an online marketplace that aired uh, about a year and a half ago, I believe, on the Super Bowl. And their slogan is, you can shop like a billionaire. And I do. And again, with that being said, I, you know, I was kind of, I pay for everything by myself, even though I'm considered an affiliate and sponsored now. Um, 
I got to pull back a little bit. Uh, my check engine light recently came on my vehicle. And yeah, I got to kind of contain some of my obsession here. So these videos might not be coming out as quickly as I would like. And when they do, they're probably going to be longer hauls because I'm waiting on some back orders. But again, with that being said, if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the family. My hopes for you are that you, if you have not already investigated, tried out Timu, a lot of people are like, uh, I had some bad experiences with Wish. Yes, me too. This girl wishes she never did the Wish thing, but my obsession with Wish was never like this. My products come faster. Um, typically on your orders, I believe maybe it's $20 or more. You get free shipping, free returns. So I kind of weighed out the pros and the cons. I took a chance. I am so glad I did. Uh, hubby, maybe not so much. Um, I recently had, uh, Heather, shout out my friend in PA, um, asked like, where do you put all this stuff? It's excessive. Yes, it is. You kind of store it. Where? You know, how are you able to do this? Well, again, shop like a billionaire. You get more bang for your buck. And if the prices that I paid for certain items were what they charge, like even at Ross or Walmart, there's no way I could shop like a billionaire. So the slogan for me, on point. With that being said, if I open this and it's something I recognize that maybe they didn't put in my notifications that it was shipped or delivered, then it will just become a Timu haul. Um, that big box has so many items in it. I'm scarred. Your girl is scarred because I got to go through and, um, price everything. Keep in mind what I paid for it, the time of my purchase might not be what you're going to pay for it, which we love. What was that? The price adjustments. That's right. If the price goes down, let's say I paid five bucks and it goes down to two, I get that $3 back. $3 back credit. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, please. I'll take that. Um, so let's just go ahead, jump ahead, get yourself a drink. I don't know how long this haul is going to be. I am going to dedicate this again. A shout out to my friend Cindy Reviews for you, for you. And I am looking to collab with a couple other haulers. But again, I'm trying to pull back. Pull back. When it starts piling up in the garage, I'm like, all right. I want to redo the bathroom. Mm. Do I really need more holiday decor? Uh, what could I use that money for with the check engine light coming on? Do I got to go out and buy another new car? Yeah. All right. Let's get into it. Um, I know sometimes I am like way too close or way too far. Hopefully this is all right. Forgive me for playing with the camera a little bit. I uh, film everything on my cheap ass Android phone. So... Let's see. Let's get to it, shall we? So, um, again, already adjusting myself. Uh, when I spoke with T uh, Cindy, um, I had already watched a few of her hauls. I thought she had four cats. She actually has six. And um, kind of got to know a little bit about her because I wanted to choose items for her, as she did for me, that we both would like. That was our, our style, so to speak. So, I'm sure I'm going to love what she got, but... Just water today, y'all. Oh, just a couple comments. People say, oh, you vape. Are they disposables? Yes, they're disposable. And um, I go through them way too much. This is just one of the many. This one's a core. This has more hits, pulls, I guess you could say. This is a strawberry, watermelon, bubble gum. I know it's bad for my health. And I'm really, 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 really trying to stop. I, I smoked um since i was 16 and i'm 51 and the only times i've ever quit smoking was for typically like a year at a time when i was pregnant pregnant three times three pregnancies three kids god bless them but i did quit smoking didn't even drink caffeine like wanted to be healthy for the babies and then of course oh, i'll just take a sip i you know won't get on the way i'm gonna get but shit happens all right so this uh, if you look down here at the bottom let me get my glasses on it says Blue Slushy Evil Bar ET 5000. It's supposed to have 5,000 hits, which lasts me about two weeks. And if you see down here, that zero, it's supposed to mean it doesn't have any, like, nicotine in it. So really, I am just, I don't even know if there's anything in it. Let's see. Yep. 
Yeah, it does, but I can definitely tell. I didn't think I could tell, so I, I went from 15% to 20% to ice to zero nicotine. Addictions. Timo, proclaimed addict. I'm addicted to Timo. Vaping, yes, but I'm trying to get off it. Anyway, without further much ado, where are we at? Already 10 minutes in. Damn, I had a lot of people say... I love it when you talk, it feels personable. I watch you at work or when I'm like kind of doing stuff around the house, I do the same thing. I uh, love it when I get to my hotel when I'm working and they have streaming TV because love my team calls. A lot of people, again, I'm gonna be all over the place, um, are fellow haulers and have YouTube platforms as well. Like again, I'll always give a shout out to my girl Ashton for Ashton Beauty, we got Cindy's reviews for you which i think this is from her we got hey everybody we got twisted gypsy we got hillbilly heart we got the cat hair is free we've got a new one a delicious uh laura i gotta check out her channel because i didn't have streaming tv at, at all at any of my um places that i stayed overnight ah, there's so many leave your link if you're a fellow hauler even if it's not a timu channel if you do cooking if you do crafting put it in the comments let me know. I want to give you a shout out. I want to get you noticed because you know what? Without Aaron, hey everybody, I'd be a hundred less subscribers. And again, while I look for my trusty opener, um, with that being said, when I hit that 2000 mark, I think I'm at 1600 at this point. I'm going to do another cash drawing Venmo slash cash app giveaway. If you don't use those um, apps for your phone, uh, then you'll have to reach out to me directly. I'll have to get your address. Um, or a place to send it to. You can pick out some Timu products. Um, I cap it out at $100, and basically it could be four twenty-five dollars winners. It could be five twenty-dollars winners. You can do the math. It could be two fifty-dollars winners to so seventy-five. I just mix it up. I go how I feel that day. Need to pull on this. I used to try to hide it because I knew I'd get the backlash, but. It is what it is. I am what I am. It's my Popeye impression. So, again, if this is not from, I don't know what's in here. I'm trying to be really careful with my twusty. I sound like Elmer Fudd. That wascally wabbit. But I am trying to be a Gentile. Jew? Gentile? I am trying to be gentle. My... Got to go to the hospital anyway, but I don't want to go for slicing my own finger open. So let's see if I open, find something I ordered. You know, it's so funny. When I watch other haulers, I watch how they open their presents, gifts, and it's like some of them are real delicate, and they kind of just go around the corner like that. And then you get those that are like... <sighs> Depends on my mood. Depends on my day. Again, not feeling myself. I don't have prices linked because it's a mystery box and it's a gift exchange, but I can tell you this order, um, we both agreed on uh, a $75 order. So I know she watches my channel and I'm going to pull out the largest thing. Uh, so um, I like farmhouse decor, which I'm trying to do. This is really pretty. Oh, and it's not just the canvas. I'm going to show you in a second. Let me look at it first. But it's framed. There's the back. So it's just like a canvas painting. Got my latch up here to hook it up with. Simply blessed. I am. But I love that distressed look border. And yeah, it's canvas. And actually, I look at this and I love it. And a lot of times I'll do hauls in my dining room, which has like this type of decor. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? That is probably something I could paint. Let me take a gander over here. Oh, I love it. Actually reminds me of a group home that I spent some time in. It was um, taken away from my family at a young age and placed in a group home for girls. It was called Faith Manor. No shame in my game. It's part of my testimony and who I am. And this reminds me of it because we had a barn like this and we had horses. There was Katant and Agapi and I forgot the other horse's name, but we'd have to go and feed the goats and the chickens and the goats and they would put the bales of hay up in here. And, um, wow. Ugh. Flashback. Trigger to that spooky music in between. It is beautiful. 
That I already can visualize going into my dining room. So girl, good, good, fine. I love the colors on it. I love the contrast. I love sunrise, sunsets. Probably um, sunsets better. I'm not a morning person, but absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Cindy. I love it. So maybe on my next haul, you will see it in the background. And this is definitely something I missed. I probably would have put it in my cart if I would have seen it. But I did not. Therefore, it was not. So I am glad she found it. And it's amazing. There's so many, so many products on Timu. I mean, you can look in household decor, holiday decor. You could even put in heart earrings and you'll have pages and pages, different vendors, different prices, compare prices, shoes, forget about it. Makeup, forget about it. Jewelry, probably one of my favorite items to haul. But when we were discussing the haul we were going to do, I said, you know, I really thought that I had more Valentine's Day decor and, sorry, rewind, more St. Patty's Day decor, being that my uh, mother's mother is from Cork, Ireland, and the name's Shannon, my actual birth name, I was adopted. My mother, biological mother, raised me. My little shamrock tattoo says trust no one. But um, anyway, my biological mother raised me. Uh, my biological father was in the military. He was in Vietnam, and he passed away in 2011. But um, initially on my birth certificate, at least this is what he says, was Shannon Doa. You know, his uh, Native American name was Bears Ribs Cree Nation represent, but I'm not throwing up kink sites, just like Twitch. Anyway, um, I thought I had more uh, St. Patty's Day decor and I didn't have nearly as much. It always goes Christmas first, Easter second, Valentine's Day, and then St. Patty's Day. And I have recently, oh, oh! Hold up. I've recently gotten into um, these gnomes. Oh, no. It's So it's battery operated. You know what? Should I go and leave you guys like I notoriously do and get some batteries? I actually want to see this light up. So it's got to light up somehow. What kind of batteries? Oh, no. Shit. It's, um, I was hoping it was going to be an easy open, but it looks like it's screwed. Just like this video probably is going to be. Damn. Yeah, I don't want to break it. Um, let me see. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn me loose. Uh, I, so it's got something at the base. Obviously, you put batteries in, but I was trying to open it like this, and it's not budging. So it does have the little screw. Uh, I guess that's the part of like trying to open up and take a peek at what she got, but that takes the element out of surprise. Surprise! I love it. Anyway, uh, I'm assuming it lights up, and it says I'm Irish. Oh my gosh, how did I miss that? Love, love my wine, my cocktails, depending on my day. Like, I got in late last night. Honey and I just kind of chilled out, watched a movie uh, from a book I read um, about two years ago and then read it again called The Glass Castle. Woody Harrelson is in the movie. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend it. It's on, um, Netflix and it's under, uh, based on true life events. So I won't give the movie away, but we watched it last night because I gave his dad, I, I re-gifted the, um, book to his father and his father really liked it. And, uh, I... Just trying to find something to watch. We were relaxing, just ending my four-day trip, and we saw it pop up. But, okay, I love this gnome. He's so cute. So he's got the wire in his hat so I could have it up, kind of have it to the side, backwards, frontwards. You get it. And it'll probably go to the side. That's how I wear my baseball caps. Little, little felt, felt, can't talk. I never can talk properly. Um, shamrocks. Oh, my gosh. I love it. And the score is 10 of 10. Oh, ah, ah. he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's so soft. He's got like this beard, but it feels like rabbit fur. It doesn't feel like that cheap felt. And I cannot wait to put him on display. And um, see, maybe the hat lights up. I don't know, but thank you, Cindy. I love it. That is a 10 for 10 for me. Oh, see, oh, this is fun. I like doing these little mystery boxes and collabing with other haulers. There goes my back already. Oh. 
wore my CPAP mask last night. I didn't wear it the night before. And as you know, shenanigans. Okay, so I had sent her an item, I guess, that she had hauled, and I must have missed her video on it. So I was grateful because I sent her something that she had liked. It was a cat sign. And I think it had two kitty paws. Sorry, I got a mirror in front of me, and, and my hair is just, um, well, hot mess. But um, I do have these. But you know what? You never can have too much. And I love it when my followers, like Leslie, will send me a message and be like, hey, girl, I saw this. Did you see this? I thought of you. And it just says, let the shenanigans begin. But you know what? I've got this. I've got like seven shirts. I've got the hoodies. I've got the T-shirts. Even got a tank top that says like shenanigans coordinator or whatever. I think I got one from Sheen. Um, but most of them are Timu. But um, yeah, they're just joggings. And let me see the size on this. Because we obviously exchange sizes. And I'm losing weight. I'm a large now, which this is. And I'm a medium I can fit into a medium comfortably but I like my clothes baggy but yeah they're just like leggings they kind of got that spandex vibe so I can leave one at home and one in my work suitcase 95% polyester 5% spandex and I think the other one I had actually was I think I ordered it when I was bigger and it was extra large so the large might be a better fit because spandex you want tight but yes girl what the what? I love it. This one actually looks a little bit different. I think mine only had one shamrock. This has one, two, three. Oh, you know what? This is different. I think mine only had one shamrock. So this is uh the back. And the let the shenanigans is like on your hip. But I think mine only had the one shamrock. I don't think it went all the way down. Maybe I am going to rock these tonight. <laughs> So uh, before Jay went to ref his games, he's like, do you want to go down to Mesquite, which is a little casino town, about 45 minutes drive from us, midpoint to Vegas. I should reach out to my son, Devin, and see if him and his wife, well, future wife, want to meet up with us. And we get comps there, but not on Fridays or Saturdays, of course, because that's when they're busy. You go play bingo, watch a movie, go bowling, hang out at the arcade, gamble, win money, hopefully, but um, maybe they'll want to meet up with us. And you know what, you guys? I get down. I am a carnivore to the core. You're either predator or prey. I'm definitely a predator when it comes to how I love me some prime rib. Medium rare. I like the raw horseradish sauce and the creamy sauce. And I mix it together until it, like, you take that bite and you're like, oh, that's good. And your nose starts dripping and your eyes start watering because you get that bite back from the pure horseradish. Yes, please. The au jus, it's good. God bless you. It's okay. But, um, yeah, I like I get down with the horseradish. I'm just saying. And they have uh, the buffet, and we, we get comps again, so we have coupons for it. And I think it's, like, not bad at all. Maybe $24 all you can eat prime rib and crab legs. Hmm. The problem is I'm on the compound form of, of Ozempic, and I fill up really quickly. So before I could have plates and plates of crab legs, now I'll get like, you know, a plate and a small piece of prime rib and I'm full. But if I could sit there for hours, I can't sit still with my ADHD, but if I could, I'm going to tear that shit up. Yes, I'm cursing a lot. Sorry. Vaping too. What else we got? Ooh. Oh, my God. How did you know? Cindy, how did you know? I, <gasps> please tell me these are elastics. You guys call them elastics. You call them rubber bands. What do you call them? Hair ties. I think Boston calls them. I used to be a really big New Kids on the Block fan. I would switch my favorite club. Everybody loved Jordan. He was hot. Danny, I always thought was the best dancer. Joey with the blue eyes. Yeah, cute. Not my person. Real nice. But, um... I don't know who my favorite was. John, Jonathan. I always, sorry, I always like the guys that are not playing for my team. Like, my bands, I was a huge Minuto fan growing up. And Ricky Martin, girl, I was in love with Enrique. Kike, Ricky, my heart. One of my very first concert was a Minuto concert at a place called Six Flags Great Adventure in Jersey. And uh, 
they had just a little show there, you know, kind of like what you would call like an unplugged. Um, they could only fit so many people in there. And Menudo was a craze back in the day, again, giving away my age. But Ricky was my favorite. And when he came out of the closet, I ran into it because I was like, Kike, you're breaking my heart. Yo te quiero mucho. Yo soy toda tuya. No me dejes nunca. Por favor. Yeah, that's all the Spanish I know. I had uh, somebody on my channel say, girl, I love it when you throw in some Spanish words there. I really am not bilingual. I just know a couple phrases. And that basically was like, why are you leaving me? I love you. My heart is yours. But yeah, Ricky, I still love you. I guess he plays for both teams. Not like I have a chance. But these are colors I don't have. And they're they... They, there, they, then what? He, she. They're really good elastic bands. Oh, yes, girl. Maybe she saw the haul where I gave you a tour of uh, my house and the Timu products. And I've got the, I'm showing you the different colors, um, the elastics hung up. And maybe, like, girl, you are sharp if you noticed that I was running out of my hair ties because... I am, and I was. I bring them on work trips, and then, uh, like, uh, my compact will break, the little snap-off, so I take these and I wrap it around there, or if I want to pack something extra tight, what I'll do is I'll grab a hair tie. But we've got a navy blue, like this really pretty lavender. Got a soft pink. Got a baby blue, if you could see that. And if you see any of these products here and you're interested in them, Reach out to Cindy Reviews for you or look it up in the search bar and you'll have it. But I don't know if this came as a set or she ordered them separately, but we've got all those hair ties. I, I would say there's about 150 in there. <laughs> Thank you. I'm loving it so far. Next product. What did she send me? Ooh. Oh, oh, I know what this is. And I never got it. I am not good with hair. I'm all right, I think, with my makeup. I love my filters, as you know, for my thumbnails. But I think this is one of those ponytail high. Um, ponytail things where you can create like an introverted ponytail loop. And, of course, you've got your fine comb, which I love this because, as you can see, guys, I like to part my hair. A little off to the side. Girl's got to get her roots done. Don't judge me. Don't come at me hard because you already know I clap back. Yes, ma'am, I will. Maybe not so aggressively trying to work on that, but yeah. All right. Nice comb. What else? What else? What else? What else? This, I don't know. It's got these teeth on it. It's got the rib. And then it looks like it, it's got these two hooks that look like they link together. So am I assuming with the teeth that somehow maybe you smooth out a ponytail like this? Let's 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 play, shall we? Yeah, we shall. Let me see here. If I pull this back in the rubber band. I'm gonna have to definitely research how to use this better. And again, it's messy, but I think the concept is to take this to smooth down the hair and clamp it. My hair is so thin, though, but I think that's how it is. Let me, guy, uh, let me guys, let me know in the comments if I'm getting it all messed up. And then I think with this, you kind of pull the ponytail through here. <laughs> Bear with me. All right, I think I do that. And then maybe stick the pointy point down, grab it. Now I'm just making shit up, I'm not sure. I'm gonna figure it out though, but yeah, so that has like this ponytail thing, plasticky, fine tooth comb, dropping everything, it wouldn't be a shenanigans. Uh, video if it wasn't but the these have two size ponytails and with my thinner hair this will probably work better but yeah I'm excited to try that out oh my gosh I've, there's even stuff I put over here so what do we have here these also look like they're some kind of oh my god girl maybe I do need a drink okay these are the really good uh plastic elastics 
okay? Disposable, so they're not supposed to rip your hair out. Huge bag, by the way. Huge, huge, huge. You gotta go with the black. But, have you ever... Just grab a little portion here. And plan. Plan! I just want to pull those baby bangs out of my face. <laughs> I'm going to look like a fool. But there we go. Right? Hey, that works. It works. Tighten it. Oh, it's all right. But yeah, sometimes um, I'll get these like little sections. I love these combs, by the way. I don't take a very small section. Baby hair bangs not going to go there. And then what I would do is I would twist it. So it would look almost like a corn roll and just print it back. Take the next section, do the same, pin it back. Next section, do the same, pin it back. And yeah, you know what? That these are that's a good find. I'll take it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've got gotta have it. Alright, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, we got a satiny black scrunchie. Actually, I don't have oh one, two, three, five black scrunchies. Alright, alright. Got black goes with everything, right? Usually everybody has a touch of black and something they're wearing. And more rubber bands. This is a huge package of just hair accessories. I love it. I lo I'm loving the colors. These colors look like they go with the little um, other rubber bands. So let's... We've got a maroon. We've got gray. And that'll go good with my outfit today. We've got a navy blue. Can you see it okay? We've got a... Dark brown, light brown, again, black, blue, gray. Love! Thank you. I'm happy. Should I take this out? Let's see. See, and even that, if I wanted a little bump, I would just go like that and get a little bobby pin and pin that right there. So I just bought, actually, this really, it's like a retro... 1940s 50s um has like a necklace and glasses and a little poofy dress and i'm thinking okay hot look wayne if our company will let us dress up why not cute Ooh. i didn't see this i you know what maybe i should maybe i should take my own advice and just put in the search bar shenanigans and let me know again in the comments if it's something you guys see often on timu or if it's more or less because saint patty's day is like two weeks and three days away or something um but shenanigans um when i was a kid in elementary school and i used to get little progress reports or bad reports from the teachers they're like shannon's daydreaming a lot couldn't keep her focus shenanigans you know that's how i came up with the channel i wish it was spelled like I spell it S-H-A-N-N-O-N. -N -N. You know how I spell it because you're here. But this house runs on love and lots of shenanigans. Oh my gosh. Perfect. And I never knew when I created this channel that it would take off the way it did. Aluminum. Got the holes at the top and the bottom. So maybe I should have a creative room, right? Get all the shenanigans going. Wear those joggings, those pants for shenanigans. I love it. I didn't see this. I It would have been in my cart a long time ago if I did. And I'm trying to save these bags as best I can because uh, somebody asked me, well, what do I do with all this stuff? Well, I don't live very far from a, um, I live in a fairly small town. St. George, Utah, but we have a lot of senior citizens in the vicinity of the area I live in. And a lot of them, you'll see them cruising around the streets, going to get their groceries in a little basket on their electric carts. So when I have ample time, which typically is three days off from work, 
I will do like a big pot of chicken and dumplings or a Irish stew with lamb and I just go and I'll, I get those disposable, you know, uh, don't know if I could say the name here. Is it Purex? I don't know. Hefty disposable dollar store will have like four room. And I just go and I kind of do a meals on wheels. I mean, they're in their wheelchair like, ain't nobody going to push me around. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. But yeah, I send it out uh, to the neighbors. So I put in like little trinkets and gifts as well. As my son's getting married, my youngest, November 16th, he turns 25, October 16th. And um, I've got, I'm working on the second bin where I will buy items. I'll see something like in a lightning deal on Timo and I'm like, I love this. They would love this. This magnetic, like, microwave spill-proof topper. Or, um, like I sent Cindy reviews for you, those little condiment packets you put on the side door of the fridge. And, like, if you go to Taco Bell and you say, I want the Diablo sauce and they give you 10 extra packets, stuff those bad boys in there. And home midnight stack, I want a quesadilla. And I got my sauce. Okay, this, I, I already told you, I did not look in this bag. And I don't have this shirt. I have quite a few. But the majority of the shenanigans shirts I have are the Irish St. Paddy's Day themed are green. So this is, girl, you got some good taste. I don't know if you're going, when I sent her her item, I'm like, okay, if I had cats, which I used to, I had two and they both passed. Um, this is stuff I would do. I'd buy, I would put my cats in like little bibs, glasses, you know, just like, they're the babies, right? They are our fur babies. With that being said, I picked out items for her I thought that not only she would like, but that I would like. And you got me pegged. And I love this because, again, I, I've lost probably about 19 pounds since January. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go me. Probably got about 30 to go. But ugh. look at that. I love this might be my favorite. Yeah, this is 100% my favorite. So, you got me a large, but again, normally I would rock a size larger, so this is perfect. But the back has the shenanigans coordinator, and I don't have this one. I've got like eight shirts. I, how did I miss this? Yeah, I think this might be my absolute favorite. And you know damn well I'm wearing it with those shenanigans coordinator. It's so funny, Jay and I went on a hike a couple weeks ago, if you saw the little clip of the video, and uh, he's like, you're already wearing Irish stuff? I'm like, yeah. yeah, it's a large, I don't see the material, but it's not real spongy. Even the iron on, um, you know, you gotta be careful with that stuff because it starts to peel off. Oh my God, I am wearing this tonight. Thank you, thank you. This I think is my favorite so far. I mean, I needed, the hair stuff, but this is like on point, girl. No, you didn't. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, she definitely watches my videos because a lot of people have been doing the moistenet. Am I saying that right? Those rings. And I keep putting it in my cart and then I take it out and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to spend $25 on a ring when I'm used to spending 70 cents to $1.50. Sometimes if I get crazy, I'll spend like five bucks on a ring. I think that's happened once or twice, but Retima with the prices you already know. But everybody has been raving about these Moissanet rings and I didn't get one. And I don't know if she saw me leave a comment on Hey Everybody's channel um, that has hauled them the Moissanite jewelry, or even somebody else's, because on this platform, you'll get a bunch of uh, us that are so much alike. It's a global gemological research academy. And it says Moissanite, GRA report number, shape and cutting style, measurements, six and a half, carat weight, color grade, clarity, cut grade, polish. This... Man, it feels like I just got an engagement ring. And I haven't even opened it. I'm afraid. I'm going to start crying already because um, it's not that I don't have the money to. And obviously, you know, the ones I looked at were like between 25 and 40 bucks. But um, I've always been one that. <gasps> you guys wanted more. Oh my God. 
The packaging is amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm like shaking. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Girl, I know you want, I, I know you spent more. I know you spent way more and I know we agreed on a price, but oh my God, you guys, it looks like a flip. I want it. Oh, I want to curse so bad. Look at that. Can you see that? It's, it's a necklace. I think it's a necklace, but look, look at, now I see why everybody raised, it's like a floating diamond, you guys. Look at the sparkle on that. I am putting it on right now. The chain, like, I'm so afraid. It's kind of um, thin. Oh, my God. Girl. Cindy. <laughs> Thank you. I, wow. Wow, wow. I'm like shaking. Yeah, I want to have Jay put this on me. I am so afraid. I'm going to break it. <gasps> Shit. You know, I'm going to drop it. Sorry for the language. Oh my God. That is gorgeous. I am not even going to, I'm going to put this back in here because like I said, the packaging is beautiful. Um, But, I am going to wait until Jay gets home and have him put on me. How elegant. That, okay, you guys, I get it now. I think I, uh, <laughs> I just said I, I want to chill out with Timu for a little bit. I got, like, a lot of stuff coming in, but I'm keeping this out right there because I'm going to wear it. I'm wearing it to the hospital, whatever. I'm wearing it tonight. I love it. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> Can't even talk. Crazy. So did not expect that. Thank you. All right. Next, whew, we have a, it says high pink. You see that okay? Let's see. Gosh, I have so much to do with these hauls. It's like I'll probably change my shirt and do another haul, but then it takes longer to load because uh, my phone sucks. What is this? Ooh, okay, okay. It's like, I think it's one of those lip color changing lip balms. It looks like a pill and then it's clear and it's got the gold like little sparkles in it, but I love these. Mine actually is down to the bottom. Let's see. I'll just do the bottom lip to see if you can tell. So soft and buttery. So I think it's like a mood ring where it's supposed to go with the natural pigments of your skin, but for me, I could just like glide it on all day. So I'll do it top and bottom. Definitely add some sheen, right? Hmm. All right, I got to put it on the top because it just feels so good. Shout out to Brie, too. I'm going to try to link the description. Um, still learning as I go for um, Cindy reviews for you. I, I want to keep this stuff organized. Again, I will be cleaning out sometime this year all the things I have that I don't wear that I purchased that I've been holding on to especially now with the weight loss I have a lot of XL maybe a couple 2XLs I don't know but clothes that I really held on to them because I love them so much but they're just not flattering because they're like three times my size now and I will be gifting them oh you got me a lot of clothes see now I feel bad because the package I sent her, maybe I'll send her some extra stuff, we'll see, but um, was like cat products, household products, like I got her a sweatshirt. Check out her channel to see the mystery box exchange. And they just weren't as personable as these are. And ah, more clothes. Okay, 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 okay. The size is, girl. I don't have this one either. 
And these are actually the size I'm realistically in now, as opposed to when I first started doing my hauls. And I think this is really going to help me get rid of my bigger clothes and move into the smaller. It doesn't have the material. This actually feels like it's 80, maybe 90% cotton. It's not that spongy, plasticky feel at all. Very, very good quality. Not lucky, simply blessed. Oh my girl. My friend, good God, I love it. You did so good. Lord have mercy. I think I have 75 videos on my page, but I swear for you to just know me like with these shirts, like you must have, like this I love because it's on the back. It's just simple in the front. I wonder if they have solid green leggings. Oh my gosh. And there's still a couple more things in there. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully I can post this quickly. Again, I'm supposed to go back to work tomorrow. I still have... And like three bags coming. I haven't even priced them. This is like so much fun. I don't know. I might even like these collaborations and mystery box exchanges better than the regular Timu hauls because I know what I'm getting. You know, this <gasps> Cindy, stop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are they they've got to be different. Let me see. I gotta look at them before I show you guys. I hope they're all different. <gasps> they're a bunch of earrings. Pink patty gnome earrings. They've got the plastic backings in them. And I don't want to take them all out because I don't want to lose the backings, but I'll take a couple out. Oh, they're so cute. Damn, Timo. Look at that. I'm trying to get it to stop shaking. Look at that little dude. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's one. That's just one. You see the other ones? This guy's holding a pot of gold. How flipping cute. I can't even. This one is a chick gnome. Looks like she's got, um, holding like the Irish flag. See the backings? I don't want them to fall out. And, uh, I love dressing up for the plane, especially the kids. Really seemed like it. I like this guy. I want to kind of, he's got like the little harpist scored. So many of them in here. And they're different. They're all so, so different. Let me take this one out because they're, they're so cute. You guys say you do like the longer hauls. Oh my God. Oh, he's holding like a little gift box. Maybe a Timu package. How cute are they? Like, I really wish at my job, I mean, I get we have to be in uniform, you know what I mean? I get company policy and everything, but seriously, I wish just, oh, I would wear one a week different. <gasps> this guy I have to take out too, I can't resist, I'm sorry, but so flipping cute. Oh my God. Look at these. How do you, I, you know what? And I thought I saw everything. Look at this little dude giving you a bouquet of flowers oh my gosh maybe they're lucky if i uh can go to the hospital and they can just discharge me slice me open pack me up maybe we will go to the casino because again going to work tomorrow and just getting home late last night i'm not really spending any time with jay and he's not happy about that i like my downtime but he gets uh he's like a puppy dog when i come home <gasps> where are you what time does your plane leave <gasps> let me look at him I'll meet you at the airport. 
And I love it. I'm, I'm so lucky to have such a good man that actually likes being with me, but I'm a brat. And a lot of times I'm like, okay, look, I just got off a week of work, a week from hell. And I just want to relax. I don't want to do nothing. But I, I do try to do, he's very active. Like he's training for a marathon and another one. Oh my God, girl. Wow. 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 You went way out, Cindy. I mean, there's obviously you're not going to be rude. Somebody sends you something. You'd be like, oh, yeah, I don't like that. But I can honestly say I am like feeling everything that looks fancy as hell. Holy crap. I wish these videos, I don't know if there's a way. Um, again, uh, our little gingerbread house sent me an app she uses for her page and her platform. Check her out if you haven't already. Shout out to you, Courtney, my girl. But she was telling me, uh, most people say that an hour video will take about an hour to post. One hour video for me takes like six to nine hours. And I don't know if it's I got like games on my phone and it just takes up so much of my space, but it sucks because it's like right after this, I'm energized, I'm feeling good. I'm dreading and trying to avoid the hospital, to be honest. Um, I just want to go through all the Timu stuff because obviously if I can't get to it tomorrow, which I don't feel is going to be very promising, I'm going to be backed up. And uh, time is of the essence. And it just, if it didn't take so long to post, I, I'd probably have them back to back. But I don't want to do a second video and have four hours of videos and then take forever to post. Stop it. I'm an emotional mess. So I applied, for those of you know that I was recently diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. I was... Um, Went to the primary physician. He put me on a sleep aid. I took it once and I was so groggy the next day. I'm like, there's no way I can work a flight like this, you know? And um, anyway, I've got to print out the leave of absence forms where I can do an intermittent. Um, like if there's just one day I didn't sleep at all uh, and I have to work the next day, it won't go as a strike on my record for my performance or reliability with the company I've been with for eight years. Um, so I got to get that filled out. But I, I, I am burned out, you guys. Honest to God. I, I'm just struggling. Like, um, even usually when I come home, I get so excited when I know I've got my packages. And I do. But now it's, like I said, where I'm going to have to step back for a little bit is kind of like it's almost overwhelming. Because I'm shopping more than I probably should. And it brings me joy for the most part, makes me happy. But at the same time, it's like lately, it's just like, I don't want to do nothing. I just want to kind of, some days, like just watch Timu hauls and I don't know. They also kind of give me a kick in the ass too, to be like, get up, get your hauls done. But this is beautiful. A good friend is like a four leaf clover, hard to find and lucky to have. Girl, going forward, I am going to have all of my St. Patty's Day ready. That is beautiful. I've got a few of these. You probably, obviously, Cindy watches my videos and knows that I, I have a couple of these like acrylic uh, puzzle pieces for Valentine's Day that says you're my missing puzzle piece. And that is gorgeous. Let me stand that up here. Look, let me just show you. Can you see? And that's important, right? Hold up. I've got that you know what? It just did it. You rat bastard. I don't want to lean it against the, uh, there you go. I don't want to lean it against the water bottle. Can you see that? All right. So it'll stand up on its own right on the shelf, but this is ribbed. My team who, uh, damn it. Camera giving people vertigo again. It's like a ribbed. We okay? Oh, girl, you okay? All right, my last product. Jeez, Louise, is it? You ever leave stuff in the bag? I've done that quite a few times. Let me uh, come a little bit closer. Now don't be shy. Come a little bit closer with air it extra dry. That was the old deodorant commercial. All right, last product. Come on now. 
Global Geometrical Research Academy. She got me something else. Moissanite. Moissanite report. This is so cool. So somebody tell me exactly. I mean, probably by the time I get your comments, I'm going to figure it out and look it up. Limited lifetime warranty and certificate of authentic register. Your GRA purchase comes with this card. Proportions and clarity characteristics. I don't know. Sorry. A lot about um, moissanite or gems or geology. What? Is it geology? Geminology? I don't know. But, I mean, it tells you the shape, round, color, D, clarity, VV, S1, cut, excellent, polish, excellent, symmetry, excellent, fluoresce, NCE, excellent. Okay, here we go. Hold on. The card says something on the back. It says, Global Gemological Research Academy is an independent jewel institute. We specialize in identifying gemstones and jewels. We provide reliable and accurate gemstones and jewels testing service. Our quality report is certified by experienced professional gemologists, and this warranty gives you specific legal rights, and you may have other fights which vary from state to state. This warranty applies in the United States and may vary in other countries. 2023. Welcome. This certificate of authentic authenticity ensures that your GRA and moissanite is an original and exceptional quality of craftsmanship. We're committed to its everlasting fire and brilliance. To ensure that you are fully covered by your warranty, please read the information on the card upon receipt and please know all jewelry purchases have a 12 months limited warranty period from the date of purchase. Oh my God. When I die and my kids inherit this stuff and they see these things they're gonna be like mom's been sitting on millions this whole time or billions team look at the box oh my gosh and this looks like a legit jewelry engagement box you guys okay okay i'm gonna open it with you ready one two slide you out for a second right one two three ah! oh my god It's beautiful. It's a ring. Wow. I am definitely going to research. Oh my gosh. It's a perfect fit. You guys look. Doesn't like slide off because it's too big. But it's it spins. So you know that it's not like cutting off the circulation. Holy smokes. Dude, that is gorgeous. Oh, Cindy, girl, I need to redo with you. I, I, I want. I just want to send you like some more things because I just feel like, like this is like too much almost. Like things I would have purchased for myself, but a lot of the items I get are just like fun little novelty items to give out to my other crew members or neighbors or, you know, little household things for my son or myself. But like, I literally feel like I just went on a shopping spree, like a Richard Gere type movie and said, pick out anything you want. The world is yours. And I, I feel like all of these items I would have picked out, like even, oh shit. Always dropping stuff. Like these earrings. I mean, especially the moissanite. Okay, that... It's hard because I really like the shirts, too. And I needed the hair ties, but... Yeah, the moissanite, girl, you got me with that. Man, you're a catch. Your wife is very lucky and blessed to have you, as I'm sure you are, Brie. But um, even the gnome that lights up... Every single item in here was beyond expectations. It makes me, actually, the thrill of it is kind of like a new high for me. Almost like I, maybe I should just start collabing and reach out to, like, my girl Menopausal Madness or, excuse me, Hillbilly's Heart or, or you know, just everybody say, hey, let's do these exchanges because you never know what you're going to get. I'm saving time by not having to price everything. But you... 
went beyond the call of duty. And I just want to, again, give a very special shout out and thank you to Cindy Reviews for you. Please like her channel and subscribe. Let's get her name out there. She deserves it. I mean, this was so thoughtful. Maybe she'll do a collab with you. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Um, with that being said, I'm going to try to change my shirt. Maybe rock the shirt that she gave me. And if I can get through it, I have about an hour and a half to try to do another video. I it might slow, so it might take me a couple more days to get these posted. But of course, the priority was to get through her box. And I am so glad I did. And uh, thank you again to everybody. If you are a new subscriber, when I hit that 2000 mark, I'm going to do another drawing. We'll have to exchange address and personal information. You'll have to be okay with that. Make sure you have a Venmo or Cash App account. You can use it on Timo if you do crafts and you go to Michael's, whatever. Do you, boo. But uh, it's just a way that I like to give back. And with that being said, I'll try to do as many videos as I can and when I can. And uh, my schedule's all over the place for next month. With my birthday on the 21st and our anniversary on the 31st, it's just cray cray anyway you guys are amazing i really enjoyed all the conversations i've had in the comments i'm going to try to get back to you and your comments as i can just know your name is in the drawing as soon as we hit that 2000 mark uh, probably do a haul maybe just the drawing i don't know but yeah i still got a lot more to do i gotta put this beautiful stuff away again thank you a very very special thank you to cindy you're amazing Heard something. Sorry. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh. Scared me. All right. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. I got to get to it. Um, keep you posted if I go to the hospital or not. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to just stab myself with a pin and drain it myself. But gross. Gross. TMI gross. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day, beautifuls. Be good to each other. I love you guys. Bye.